of the state capitol in Frankfurt. The state capitol in Frankfurt. The state capitol in Frankfurt. Lawrence Smith, WDRB News. Good reporters write with intention. Governor Andy Bashir coming here to Waterfront Park. Getting to know more about Lawrence Smith. I know you've always taught Jason and I to have humility, tenacity, uh, and excellence when it comes to our work. It's easy to see why he's one of the most respected journalists. First of all, we have Lawrence Smith in the Commonwealth. Smith's career in local news spans 45 years, starting around 1977 at WTVQ in Lexington as a sophomore at Eastern Kentucky University. Last some stops in Knoxville and Houston. Medical reporter Larry Smith has details. He's called Louisville home. We keep wondering whether he has his sled ready, but I don't see it, Lawrence. Where is it? <laughs> oh, Brooke, you're after me, aren't you? You're really <laughs> after me. Reporting at three of the news stations in the market. And no matter where he worked. On my birthday, I'm going to go down this hill so you might as well just go ahead and call EMS now because I may not be back after this. You guys take care. I'm going down the hill. The story that followed him. Always worked your hardest to get it right and to be accurate and to be fair. Remain the same. You know, anything you ask him to do, he knows how to go out and get a story done and then tell it effectively to the people that he's trying to inform. A great journalist and an even better person and a great friend. This was voter registration in 1996. Smith joined WDRB in 2012, but returned to news after a more than 10 year hiatus. And one of his most memorable career moments came in the first week. Oh, Lawrence, what did you see today? Caught in the path of the March 2nd tornado. Well, little did we know we'd be right in the middle of it. Uh, we drove up to Henryville, got there before the storm hit, drove off the interstate and had a choice of two gas stations to go to. There was, I believe, a marathon station on the right side and across the street from us, a shell station. We actually saw that shell station get destroyed by the storm. What we saw is the storm coming right at us. Here, he focused primarily in politics. I appreciate it. Nothing on Trump? Thank you. I, I have it. you. He always listens, and I think he asks fair questions, but he's not afraid to ask the hard questions. In your grand jury presentation, did you recommend any charges at all against uh, either Mattingly or Cosgrove in the shooting of Breonna Taylor? His intention? Integrity. Thank you for your years of service providing uh, information to Kentuckians in a, in a balanced and fair way. And From controversies to conventions and presidents, he covered it all with poise. Your dedication to bringing important information to the people of Kentucky, especially Louisville, made a difference. I know your viewers will miss you, and so will the Capitol. And a bit of levity. He's officially filed as a write-in candidate for governor, and this is his campaign bus. And his name, well, I almost need to apologize, but his name is Blackie effing white. Professionally, Lauren Smith always had two loves. That much of the words spoken by Jesus in the Gospels. In that 10-year hiatus from news, he worked for Southern Seminary and now returns to church work as communications director for the Kentucky Baptist Convention, sharing the good news for 2,500 churches in the state. And I just want to say that I'm proud of you, I love you, and I can't wait to see how God is going to write this next chapter of our lives. His is a storied career. I've watched with pride as you delivered the news with grace and excellence. And just like the rest of Kentuckiana, I will greatly miss seeing you on the air. And as the journalist puts down his pen, we know the same intention that brought Lawrence Smith success will write his next chapter. At the state capitol in Frankfurt, Lawrence Smith, WDRB News. I promised myself I wouldn't cry, but Me too. <laughs> you're making it hard. Just, <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> it's a Gilbert Corsi story. You have to cry at the end of it. Oh my gosh, Lawrence, we cannot say thank you enough. I came here over five years ago as a very young reporter and I sat next to Lawrence and man, I hit the desk location jackpot because he's never said no. He's always shared his expertise, his sources, his time on even the busiest days. And he has made me not only a better reporter, but a better person. We open the, I put all my gush and feelings into that story for you, uh, my friend. We open the floor to you here now. Uh, what do you want to say on this, your last day in local news? Well, how much I appreciate this place. I've worked at uh, seven TV stations in my career, and this one is by far the best because of you guys and all the people behind the scenes and in the newsroom. You're great journalists, but better people, and that has made this place a fantastic uh, 10 years 
for me to work. I, I really appreciate it. I, when I was going back through your, your, I literally went to HR and got your resume so I could figure <laughs> out all the places <laughs> that Lawrence had worked. And I was like, wow, Knoxville too? I mean, you have been a nomad journey uh, journalist uh, for 45 years. Well, you notice two things have changed over the years, my weight and my hair. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, uh, Frankfurt, uh, you saw the governor in there and Attorney mm -hmm. General Cameron. I mean, they, uh, the, not many more people are more respected in Frankfurt, especially when you're reporting. That is, that is hard to say because, you know, sometimes you come for the good, sometimes you come for the not so good. Uh, but whatever story Lawrence was coming for, they knew that it was going to be done with class, integrity, and uh, uh, the facts were going to be straight. So we have this beautiful picture. One of our photojournalists got up at 7 in the morning, Frank Stamper, wow. to go take this. Um, and all of us, the, the entire newsroom, have signed the back of it for you. Well, so. thank you. I will treasure this forever, but uh, I will be around. I will not be a stranger. I need to get my newsroom fixed occasionally, so I'll come back to visit you guys. Um, you're always welcome. You want to talk a little bit more about where you're, where you're yeah, going and I'm, what you're doing? Because yeah. this is just retirement from local news. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be the, be the communications director for the Kentucky Baptist Convention. And it involves some news. We have a news website called Kentucky Today, which I will manage. Uh, so I won't be totally out of news, but I'll, as you said in your piece, I'll be telling a different kind of story of what the 24, 2500 churches in the KBC are doing and how they're spreading the gospel throughout the state. The good news, as we wrote in Absolutely. that story. Thank you, Lawrence Smith, for your reporting, for your friendship, and for your time here reporting and telling stories here in Louisville, Kentucky. Thank you. It's been my honor and my pleasure. All right. Mark Weinberg with a look at our forecast.